So, all right. So I think we're going to do our abundance activation. Oh, Unless you have any last minute thoughts. Um, I know that a couple people are hopping in and out. So I just want to check in. Um, yeah. So no. I know precious. So we are going to drop into our abundance activation and we will have this. We will put this back up in its own little frame so you can just see the abundance activation. But this is not like a meditation. So this is something where you can do, there's going to be parts of it with your eyes open, parts of it with your eyes closed, whatever feels good for you. But you're going to be speaking out loud and you're also going to be typing things into the space. So speaking into the space, typing into the space. So I just want to just call in divine white light and just set some boundaries, um, calling in our elements, the big, you know, our big brothers and sisters, calling in the east, the south, the west, the north, calling in air, earth, air, fire, and water, calling in sweet mama earth beneath us. She's such a big part of this. She is abundance. And calling in um, your beautiful higher self to come into this space and calling in, you know, for me, it's, it, tonight it's Sophia. I'm calling in Sophia. Uh, the divine mother of all life and just inviting you to call in whatever divine the divine looks like for you and you know in this space there is no unsafety there's there's protection there's love there's light and there's only the room for the highest good of everybody so i invite you to Consider your intention. So why would you come to an abundance activation? What does this mean for you? So you can speak it out loud. You can say it into, uh, you can type it into the comments. You know, what is your intention um, coming into this abundant space? So what are you looking for? So take a minute, write out your intention, speak your intention. And while you're doing that, I just want to invite you to think that abundance um, is defined as having more than you need, which I thought was just incredibly um, trippy because it's basically saying abundance is being greedy, having more than you need. That's how I received that after doing you know so much meditation and thought over what this should be. And for me, I think abundance is really just claiming your share. I think that you know there is abundance for everybody, and that's the truth. That's the shift the lens shift I would invite you to lean into tonight. So if you think of abundance, think of Mama Earth. So we're on this planet, Sophia Gaia. Creation could be a gift from God, the biblical God, whatever speaks to you. Creation is perfect. This world is perfect. It has everything we need to survive. It is perfect abundance. Abundance is everywhere, and there's no better time to feel into abundance than the season of spring. Mm. Abundance is everywhere. It's visual. It's visual everywhere. This is such a powerful time of year. Little plants that were just seeds dreaming about <clears throat> becoming flowers are just shooting up. This is a time of screaming. This is a time of showing up. This is a time of jumping out into the world. This is a time of new beginnings, new stories, new experiences. Um, so the flower that you've been dreaming of, this is also a time if we lean into Mama Earth, we lean into that abundance, now is the time to start blossoming. Um, and this is easy if we plan ourselves in the rich abundance of Mama Earth. So I invite you to just like close your eyes. And we're going to do a tiny little kitschy witchy practice here. Close your eyes and invite any old stories in your body, any old stories of distorted perceptions of wealth. Rich people are bad. Rich people are evil. I shouldn't ask for money. I shouldn't ask for abundance. I shouldn't ask for prosperity. And just invite you to like, Invite God, invite Sophia to help you and your higher self just sort of dissolve all these things into like grains of sand. And let those grains of sand just show up in your body, show up in this divine white light circle we're in together. And then with a breath, allow all of those grains of sand to drop on the floor in front of you. And we're just gonna broom them right on out of here. We are gonna sweep them right on out of this room and they're looking back at you and they're kind of giggling because they're like, got you. But that's okay. You're going to send them love and gratitude. And you're going to allow mom, they're absorbing right back into Mama Earth because all of our emotions, all of our everything is valid. So they're going to go back into Mama Earth where they can teach somebody else a lesson or they can be transmuted into something different. 
become their own little daffodil. And now we have this cleanliness, this coolness inside, this openness. So now I invite you to come back into your heart center. So I love being in the heart center. For me, this is, this is my divine portal to everything. This is my divine portal to connect to God, to Sophia. This is the divine, the throne of my higher self, the sacred heart, deep, deep in this heart chamber. So I invite you to go into this space and find this gorgeous opal light. And just invite that opal light to just fill your whole body. Fill all of the voids left from those grains of sand that we got rid of. They're gone. All those old stories, they're gone. That's simple, intentional living. And I want you to allow that light to fill your whole body. And just notice that concentration of opal light and notice how you're feeling. And just send that opal light right down into your solar plexus. So if you don't know what that is, that's the top of your belly. So in yoga, we call this your Manipura, your city of shining jewels. This is your power center. So this is where we're strong. This is where we're independent. And just invite your sweetheart, your, your seat of divine knowing, to go down into this power center and allow it to just sort of sit in that space and collect all of that gorgeous independence, all of that gorgeous sovereignty, all of your perfect, unique signature in that life, in this life. And you're gonna push that down into your root, into your legs, into the base. And this is a space, your root is a space of family, a space of security, a space of safety and worthiness. Um, and allow that beautiful light that's moving down your body, collecting all of your independence and benevolence and connecting all of that right to be here, that structure. And I invite you to say into the space, I have a right to be here. That sounds really hokey, but not all of us think we have a right to be here. So I invite you to say, I have a right to be here. You can say it three times. I have a right to be here. I have a right to be here. I have a right to be here as much as anyone else. I have a right to be here as much as everyone else and everyone else has as much a right to be here as I do. So we're coming into that gorgeous energy of community as we travel down into the earth. So now we're full of our own gorgeous hot, you know, our higher self light. We're in circle together in the divine light of, of the divine, of Sophia, and allowing that to just travel all the way down into the earth. It could be like a red cord colored in your root chakra energy, just going down into mama earth, all the way down to the core to the star of Mama Earth, the center of Mama Earth. And your cord is already infused with the spirit of community and oneness. And it's also infused with the spirit of your perfect, unique puzzle piece, your critical piece. Your critical piece is needed, was meant to be here, was born of chaos to be in the chaos. It's so important and so worthy. So I invite you to even say that or type that. My, my presence, I am worthy. I am so needed, I am so important. So really embodying and embracing that. And I invite you, now that we're at Mama Earth Star, to like feel into <clears throat> that light that's emanating, that pure light that's emanating. And as you send Mama Earth your gratitude, know that she is sending you this light of knowing feel into that idea that there is abundance for all feel into the perfect abundance that mama earth is feel into the divine per, you know perfection of millions of years of this star being on this earth and nurturing and protecting and taking care of billions and billions of creatures and plants and humans that have been here. She's got this. She has perfect abundance for everybody. Perfect abundance for everybody. And feel how within that light, with all those billions of children, she still knows you. She still knows how important you are. She still knows how worthy you are. She still welcomed you and you're in her presence. And she's sending you gratitude for your awareness. 
and your friendship. And it's in this space where Mama Earth gives you permission, as if you needed it, to claim your right to be abundant. So you can say, I claim my right to be abundant. And witness Mama Earth freely fill you with her starlight of perfect abundance. There is more than enough for all. Recognize it, say it, write it, feel it. And we're gonna come back from that star. And I invite you to place your hands on your heart and your hands on your belly. Whatever speaks to you, you can do one or the other or neither of them. But I invite you to like, allow that light to like shift your perspective over power imbalances and different distortions that you have, you had, because you swept, you swept it away, of abundance. And abundance is all things, it's not just money. And witness your intention. How does this shift your intention? How does this shift what you're claiming? So abundance is friends, it's experiences, it's food, it's shelter, it's transformation, it's growth, clothing, relationships, love, laughter, education, healing, transformations, travel, new friends, old friends, new foods, love food, new experiences. Everything is abundance that Mama Earth has created for us or that creation is for us. It's all here, it's all for us to share. And as we sit atop this perfect, abundant planet, no matter what noise exists around you, at any time, you can connect right back into Mama Earth's star. You can connect right back into your heart or your solar plexus now. And just remember, remember this gorgeous abundance that exists for everybody. And there's a lot of... Um, Sometimes I think false conditioning around humility and humbleness. Um, and the Christian God, which I study, um, you know, pretty closely right now, trying to understand, you know, the way God was presented in, in that context. If this is a part of your lineage, know that creation, literally the gift of creation, the garden, life, this was a gift to all of humanity. It was not a gift just to able. It wasn't a gift just to any one given person. Creation was here for everybody. So it is your right, literally your birthright. That's Leah Steele's words. Thank you, Leah. But it is your right to be abundant. It is your right to be, to be able to live this life with your own human dignity and celebrating yourself. So these are the shifts. And so I invite you, you know, no matter what noise is existing around you, I invite you to claim your share of the gift of creation and be worthy of it. I am worthy of being able to pay my bills. I am worthy of finding joy in life. I am worthy of taking a nap when I'm tired. There are so many things that abundance can be. For me right now, abundance is a nap. I know, it came up a couple times. <laughs> I need, so claim what you want, claim what abundance looks like for you. Like really sit with that. What does abundance look like for you? Write it in the space, say it out loud, write it in your journal three times, you know, um, by the power of three, you know, so, so mode of B. I am worthy of this, I claim this. I am worthy of abundance, I claim abundance. I am worthy of traveling, I claim traveling. I am worthy of Health insurance, I claim health insurance. Whatever it is that you're calling in, whatever abundance you're calling in, claim that. You're worthy of it and you claim it. And then you can say, I surrender the excess and I choose my highest vibrational match to abundance. And so I invite you to say that. You can type it, journal it, whatever speaks to you. And just thanking Mama Earth and thanking our higher self and thanking the divine and thanking the directions and the elements for their presence in this circle. And thank you all for all of your gorgeous energy and for coming into our space tonight. We are so excited about this retreat. Mm -hmm. We are so excited for all of the beautiful souls who have already signed up. So excited. And we are finalizing who's coming into our space by the end of this month. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's possible we can take some more people on, but this is when uh, the European hotels will guarantee rooms. 
So we're really doing a final push to call in or just find the people who are supposed to be on this retreat with us, this transformational journey. Um, this is our love, our passion, and we're just so grateful that you came here and listened to us. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I love these. Bye, guys. I'm going to figure out how to end this live. <laughs>